Oh my god, I am out of shape. I feel so weak. Really? Yeah. It is four days post marathon and I actually just got a dental surgery done on the top left tooth. So I'm kind of like recovering from two things and so my body has undergone some really <laughs> rough events lately but I'm so happy that I am now in full recovery mode because I feel like I've just been all go this whole year so hopefully this situation gets recovered very quickly because Keen and I are actually going to be packing and doing our post marathon recovery post events recovery in Hawaii in like two days so yeah anywho this is what my post marathon recovery is looking like so far We are here in Hawaii after one marathon and one dental surgery and a 10 hour trip. We finally made it to the island. The specific island we're staying at is in Kauai and I am so stoked that we're finally having a recovery trip. This is actually also to celebrate our honeymoon because we have yet to go on a honeymoon to celebrate our wedding so we decided let's take a trip out to Hawaii it was kind of last minute um, but I think this recovery trip is much needed so in this vlog I'll take you along what my post marathon is gonna look like and of course the priority is to just recover and rest because we put this body through the ringer so I think the plan today is just gonna be super chill we're gonna check some shops out and have some of the delicious food and probably go down south um, to check out Poipu Beach and yeah, I don't know. The world is our oyster. We don't really have like a strict itinerary um, So we'll see where the day takes us guys. I think I uh, fixed my <laughs> Swollen cheek problem <laughs> I Did my hair and then put it off to the side. So it's kind of covering that that area <laughs> Okay, time to have some coffee So I am going on about a 10k hike it's my first like act of movement since the marathon and it's currently like 20 plus degrees so hopefully this hike goes well. <laughs> So we are back in Vancouver and I am so tired. It's been kind of hard to get back into the swing of things. Keen and I took a red eye flight coming back home and it was not the greatest. I was not comfortable throughout the whole plane ride. I could not sleep. I think in total I had like three hours of sleep and we arrived Saturday morning and literally all of Saturday I just struggled to stay awake and then when I slept, I slept for like 10 hours, which was great. And then yesterday, Keen and I had to do a Saucony photo shoot and video shoot. So we did that for a good like three hours. So now I have like this full week off to just like focus on resetting the place, um, folding all the laundry because we had put that in the wash as soon as we got back. It's almost 4 p.m. so I'm kind of like not really in it right now, but I'm trying to be compassionate to myself because honestly like there really isn't a pressure to get things done, but I do want to get into a good routine and especially a fitness routine because I kind of feel like a big blob right now. Today's priority is to just 
get some groceries because we've got no food and I'm gonna shower because I feel like that's the only thing I can really focus on myself right now. Just feel like I'm either zero or a hundred. There's no in between. So I'm hoping tomorrow will be a better day when it comes to working out. just portioning out the chicken thighs that we got from Costco so that way we can put them in the freezer and then take out what we need for dinner. I find that's like the easiest way of saving food from Costco because every time we buy in bulk a lot of things go bad so we're just trying to figure out more efficient ways of storing our food in the freezer and then taking them out when we need them. And speaking of food, now that we're back from vacation, I am also trying to reset my diet and my eating habits. You know, it's been very carb heavy the past, I don't know, year and a bit. So I'm trying to up the protein a lot more now that I'm kind of rebuilding my muscle and I'm not really focusing too much on cardio focused exercises. So I don't really need a lot of carbs when it comes to fueling. I'm obviously still gonna be eating carbs when I am getting ready for a workout just so that I've got energy and fuel, but it's not gonna be as much compared to, you know, when I was Ironman training or marathon training. So now that I'm focusing on strength, I'm really trying to make sure that I've got protein to help with my muscle building and recovery. So hence why you see a lot of chicken in here. We also have a lot of meat in the freezer that's being stored. And then we also bought some shrimp for fish. And then uh, we also bought our favorite chocolate milk, which is Fairlife. Love that stuff. It's like my favorite. We're just getting ready for dinner. It's like probably one of our first like home cooked meals. So I'm really excited about that because yesterday we had like A&W when we went to check out the haunted houses at the fair. I'm ready to get back into healthy eating. <laughs> alive but barely is surviving i am so sore from yesterday's workout it's been a while since i did some heavy lifting and some plyo and yeah my body's paying for it right now i'm now doing a new program and it's a strength program it's a back squat program that is currently on train heroic um, it is part of the catalyst athletics program which does focus on olympic lifting ideally i'd like to get back into only lifting eventually but i feel like i gotta just get the basics down aka all the squats and overhead because 
it's been a while since I've done that. I feel like it's been almost a full year. And so I would like to focus on this for the off season. Um, so that way I can build a strong strength foundation when I get into my goals in 2025, which I will share very soon. There's just a few things I need to work out with my husband to see what other goals we're planning on doing. But yeah, overall, it's been a really great recovery. I think the number one thing, especially when it comes to recovering from a big race like 70.3 and my marathon is the fact that like really focus on that downtime. I think when I compare my 70.3 post and my marathon posts definitely i feel a lot more refreshed and recharged versus post 70.3 because after my half ironman i was going straight into wedding planning i had a 5k race to test on my baseline for my marathon training so there was a lot not to mention work was just chaotic because i was going through another restructure a new role blah 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 there was just so many things going on whereas post-marathon recovery, a lot more chill vibes. <laughs> um, you know, got to go to Hawaii. Despite that dental surgery, everything was great, which I think my body and my mind needed. When it comes to running, I actually have not been running. The only like cardio that I did was really the hike. But starting next week, I do plan to get back into running. I'm actually going to be doing the post-marathon recovery plan on the Runner app. Now, I think this is a plan that you would do right after the marathon but obviously i've decided to do other things which i think was the better decision just for me personally again i've learned my lesson from last year is i don't want to burn out especially mentally and so my priority right now is my mental health i think physically i'm definitely feeling a lot more recovered so i think i'm ready to get back into running but slowly take it easy see where things take me and then we will start working towards some big goals in 2025. So that being said, we've got two months until the end of the year. So really the focus of this season is building a strong base. So expect to see a lot more strength workouts. Um, I'm definitely gonna include some running in there, hopefully some swimming and biking to keep up with that cross training so that way I also don't get injured. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to comment down below. And with that, I'll see you in another video. Bye.